Blame Steve, guys. Blame Steve. No, no, don't. This. Now they can hear you. Okay, sorry. We had a little bit of a false start there. Blame uh, Steve. Anyway, welcome to our special 19th anniversary celebration stream. Um, we're going to start out with some cake and some chat with some of our longtime devs <laughs> and Morgan, who's one of our newest members. Um, then, a longtime player. Long, longtime player. Um, and then we're going to show off a little bit what's coming up in tomorrow's patch, which drops right around 10 a.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, Lunar New Year stuff, which is exciting um, so we've got you guys may recognize a few of the faces here I don't know if you recognize Lindsay anymore since she hasn't been, a been on years here forever <laughs> um, but we've got Lindsay as well as Robbie who I'm pretty sure you've never seen on camera before he's our That's audio <laughs> our audio genius um, and then we've got Simguru Ninja Dave and everybody knows our favorite firebug back here Simguru Morgan hey. who's clearly nervous and trying to smile through the pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting next to Dave. Oh, that, that's fair. Um, so oh, to Morgan, nobody's going to notice your shirt. It's fine. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. It's so mean. It's okay. um, so to, to, to kick off, actually, can everybody kind of introduce they themselves the same. and uh, they what you do for the Sims? What do we'll I do with for the Sims? Sims. <laughs> what do you um, do here? Yeah, 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 that's fair. Um, Lindsay Pearson, um, I have been with The Sims since the near beginning. I joined on The Sims Vacation for Sims 1, actually. Um, and I've worked on all the packs since then. Uh, and what would I say I do? Well, right now, I'm actually the, um, the general manager of The Sims franchise, which means I kind of look over everything we do for The Sims everywhere. Um, which is kind of cool, but it means I live in the future and I don't know what's happening most of the time. So I'm excited to see the content today because I actually haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some early concept art. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, I love The Sims. I played it before I started working at EA and being able to work on it for this long and be part of this history is just um, pretty incredible. Oh, it's white cake, by the way. You oh, didn't thanks. know what flavor it was. I was going to ask. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wait. Cake? Um, we are serving cake. Awesome. No oh, now I get Dave. to eat awkwardly on camera. Yeah, it's called a mukbang. Oh, okay. That's when you eat on camera. Oh, gotcha. Um, It's a wow. thing, apparently. Uh, well, and Lindsay's got one of the most awesome, like, journeys through The Sims, because you started out on QA, I right? I did. Yeah. I did. In fact, when I, when I applied to work at EA, they had me fill out a little form that said, what games do you like? And all my friends were like, don't tell them you like The Sims. They'll make you install it all day, every day. Because back in the day, it actually mattered the order you installed it in. And I was like, okay, I'll put it at the bottom of the list. And of course they put me on The Sims team and I was like, yay. Um, and it's true, I had to install it. I had all my serial numbers memorized because we had to do it every day in different <laughs> orders. It was crazy. Um, but it was super fun, uh, and it was, uh, it, it, uh, we were playing early Battlefield at the time, which was kind of cool, because it was like cool. 1942. I was actually good at it back then. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I started in QA, got to know the team, and then I've kind of done a little bit of everything in production since then. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what my favorite part is, but I'm sure we'll get around to all that. And then, Robbie, what do you do, <laughs> other than make fun of us for our beige wall and low-budget setup? <laughs> it's a nice beige, guys. It looks better in person. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, if you're, if you're allergic to nuts, don't eat this unless you're really trying to get out of this live She screen. says after she <laughs> eats Dave. Yeah. <laughs> you're not allergic to nuts. Oh, okay. I just, I don't like them. Anyway, Robbie. Uh, I'm Robbie Cocker. Uh, I am... Been around since before The Sims, actually, in mm -hmm. Maxis. What? Um, yeah, I, I predate The Sims. Yep. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I started in 97 with Maxis. 97. And 97, yes. Many of you weren't born, probably. Um, hey, I was seven. Oh, <laughs> my. <Nice. laughs> Uh, so Thank I've you. corrupted a whole generation of you, um, uh, and I'm the guy behind the sound effects, the music, the voice, Simlish. Um, so yeah, my 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 career here basically is every Maxis title except Spore. Really, is a good way to describe it. it was maybe since 2013, I didn't work much on it, but yeah. pretty much everything pretty else. Pretty much everything else. It, yeah. So that's that's kind of my job. Uh, I have a great team that does all the really cool stuff that you hear in the game. So uh, I don't have to do as much as it sounds like I do. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, awesome. That's my word. Robbie's awesome. He makes everything super easy on us. He well, never says no. Celebrities and stuff. You got. Yeah, Robbie does all that part. This yeah. is Robbie, by the way. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Robbie finds all the cool music that we've that you've ever heard in the game. Um, he gets all the hookup on all the cool new tracks. I, great people bring me cool music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they wanted a picture for the camera of cake up close to share. Oh, of cake up now. close. Here, here's Dave's half-eaten cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite delicious. Don't, don't, don't food shame me. I, I'm not. Food shaming, He's shaving, yes. She's shaving your cake. Um, okay, then we've got... You guys know this guy. Yeah. We let him out of his box for once. I haven't done anything wrong in a long Yet. time. I deserve him to be out. Uh -oh. He just stole my strawberry. Uh, <laughs> Dave Maki, I'm a producer yep. on The Sims, been with the EA for almost 13 years now. Man. I can't believe it. Uh, so I also started in QA, Sims 2 era, worked on a lot of the mice and stuff. And then, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thirteen years is not new. <laughs> Sims Four was the first time I got to work with Lindsay, and it's just been a nightmare every day since. I said you were the nice one. Wait, no, she said I was the nice one. Never mind. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just we'll gonna keep handing cakes. I'm hey, happy to be here. Oh, we're we're we're, we're okay to have you here. That's cool. Oh, just through cake. We'll Fun fact: I realized this morning I was so The Sims is now as old as I was when I started. Oh, you started when you were 19. Yeah, was wow, you were like baby. Yeah. Speaking of babies, Morgan. Yeah. I'm not as young as Antonio. That's yeah, there true. You go. Throw it. He's not <laughs> even here. So true. Um, anyway, Morgan, what do you do? Um, so I'm a new producer mm. on The Sims, and I actually think a year ago today might have been the day I got my job offer. Oh, so I think it's been a whole year. Happy um, day you get job offer anniversary. Yay. Yay. Yesterday or tomorrow, a year ago. Let's just say it was it's the somewhere same day. in here. Yeah. You share a birthday with the Sims. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, and I, I've worked on uh, seasons and then get famous. And things I can't talk about. Things. Things. Like what? And things. Okay, I'm talking about That's all right. You just Great. want company in the box, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. So um, you guys might have remembered a uh, little later la last week, I put out the call for questions for you guys mm -hmm. to submit. Um, and we've got a good number of questions for some folks here um, from you guys. So this question comes from Tassandra on Twitter. And she wants to know, anybody who wants to answer, feel free, like, feel free to do so. If you could live in The Sims, where would you live? Which world? <laughs> and what career would you have? Which townie would be your best friend, and who would be your nemesis? Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> He's got cheating. Mm. I wrote my answer down. <laughs> yeah. wow. so you you can't prepared. copy off me. Um, well, given that things are busy all the time, I actually would love to go back and be in a slacker career. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I feel like you got to sleep a lot. Um, and where would I live? That's a hard one. A slacker career know. was great. Yeah, it didn't make a lot of money, but I liked some of the like top end. Yeah, it was, it like, was fun. Freelancer type things. It was fun. Um, I don't know where I want to live though, so someone else has to jump in. Oh, uh, I got the living. That. Yeah, homeless. I, I, oh, you I, like that I, idea? I love the homeless <laughs> thing. <laughs> I've been, the, homeless I, sim. the more I can perfect it, I, I'm just like I, I love build mode and everything like that, but I don't want to stay anywhere. So it's kind of like my real life. <laughs> Except you've been here for like I know, over no, and nobody, years. nobody who ever knew me growing up would say he would stay in one place for, for that long. Ever. That's how good The Sims is. It is it's kept you here I never forever. Do the same thing twice. <laughs> Anybody else? Know? I'd like, probably go to Selva Dorada just because I think it's super pretty, and I yeah. like the kind of like climbing aspect of it, but like looking down. It's so much more deadly than our other neighborhoods. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if I had to pick I like one, I'd probably go to. France and Sims 3 World Adventures. Hmm. That's my, that's my Le, favorite. Les Champs? Les Champs, I think, was in Yeah. The, Sim Shops? Sim Shops? I don't know. Brain? Brain not What working? do we call it, What Steve? about you, Morgan? <laughs> you Google it. You guys sort of me. Me. <laughs> and go Isla Paradiso. Ooh. Then, that one was beautiful. And then um, I'm going to go Astronaut because our astronauts like aren't just astronauts. They're like alien fighter, like it's discover pretty cool. planet. Like, they are pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. I would probably choose Brindleton Bay because it's most like where I grew up which because I'm from New England and it's super pretty and I would probably really do pretty. the the tech career um, the gamer branch because why not who doesn't want to get paid to play video games all day that's all we do that's all we do <laughs> we don't actually work guys we just sit around and play video that games that is not true according to my family that is what I do that, that is what my family thinks I do as well I can ask uh, that a I've lot. got you all talk my, my mom introduces me he makes noise for a living Wow. <laughs> she doesn't even get to the game. Love it. She just goes noise and I'm done. Oh. Yeah. Um, so if you weren't working on The Sims as a producer or an Ooh. audio guru, what what job would you have chosen? 
Where do you think you would have ended up? Does this have to be like actual skills yeah. or like things that we could never we actually do that do, we yeah. wish we could All do? All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, if I could do anything, it would be cool to be like a geneticist or something. Oh. But I don't know that I could actually do it because biology is always my worst. But <laughs> but it would be really Very cool to be a answer. geneticist. I like it. My, my sister is a geneticist. Oh, and wow. The amount of school she had to do, it's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have to like biology and chemistry. I would probably, what would I do? I, was, I thought I was going to be a lawyer for a while because my parents, I used to love to argue as a kid. <laughs> Maybe still do now. I don't know. And so my right. parents said, you should get paid to get to argue. You should become a lawyer. And then I took the LSAT in college. And, it was, and you were like, no. I was like, no. Well, I thought for the longest time I was going to be an architect or an interior designer. So I can't say I strayed that far. No. <laughs> Um, I know, that's what I thought I would do. Yeah, my family was all science people, and I was like, eh, I'm going to go to art school. Yeah, and they were like, okay. <laughs> I, I, You're just like, I, I want to make noise. No, I mean, I, I started uh, college to avoid being a musician and things. <laughs> I, I, you know, deeply ingrained, you, you don't get a job doing this. Um, so I went to college as a physics major, but... I got better, and uh, <laughs> but if I had anything to do now, I think I would build furniture. I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of like, that's cool. you know, wood and metal and things. And that's what I do as a hobby. Anyway, so that's cool. You have to bring something in your name. Yeah, these chairs. The watch out, they might break. Right, right, yeah, <laughs> my king bed is, is this nice hickory and walnut thing, and that's what I geek out of. Is this your dream job, Dave? Yes. It's number three. <laughs> number um, I, three. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, this is my dream job. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably be like a chef in another life. But I but I do have a dream that I know a few dev people share. And we have the dream of being able to like, I'm making a mess. We have the dream of like opening like a board game shop. Okay. That's closed. Like we open it like five minutes a day. And like we'll probably leave it open to have people come in just so we can say we're closed right now. Wow. That's that so is the dream. So you're real life trolls. Yes. Interesting. Basically. And what's yeah. the punny name for the shop? Because I'm I sure. I haven't thought about oh, it. Yet. Like, oh sure man, I thought something. you would have had something. But, but uh, I know where it's located in San Francisco. You know. Board <laughs> <laughs> it up. See, because it would be closed. Like, and that question was from... Like, we're always open. <laughs> that question was from Willow Collin. Um, now, from Cena Megapolis, they want to know, what was the most exciting feature you've worked on oh, wow. for The Sims at all? Mm -hmm. Morgan. Um. um. <laughs> Making sure not That's to say things. Out. That yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, no future stuff. I'm going to go with the... Uh, we called it the walk-in safe, but it's a vault because I, I decided it looked more vault-like, so we called it a vault. So it's a vault from Get Famous. That one was really fun, and it was fun to write things for, and it was fun to, I don't know, just play around with. You were always and trying always, to kill people and in I always, it. Yeah. You were always trying to you trap people, kill in, people it. in it. You can't trap children in it. And children can't be tried. trapped and die. But no, also, so <laughs> there's like a woo, it's like a woohoo spot. You can kill people in so it. So multi-purpose. Um, and you have something to do with all your money, and you can like visually see the stages <laughs> of it progressing. I like things where you can visually see it changing. Mm -hmm. Um, that one was really exciting to me. I didn't think we would get grosser than woohoo in the bush. You were wrong. But like woohoo in the money pile is <laughs> filthy. <laughs> it's so gross. You make a weird oh, game, guys. <laughs> so gross. Uh, what about you, Lindsay? You've been around a while. Mm. I know. I mean, I've done a lot of fun features for lots of different reasons, but you I think you said most exciting? Yeah, most okay. exciting. So then I'm, I'm going to go back to recent-ish history, um, which maybe will poke a bear, but hopefully not. But when we actually got to make toddlers for Sims 4, was probably like the best day of my career when we got to release that for everyone and no one knew it was coming. Um, that was pretty incredible, and we don't get those days yeah. that often. Yeah, I feel like um, the most recent one was probably terrain manipulation. Yeah, that was really um, fun that too. Was, that was really big as but well. But I, I literally canceled all my meetings the days we dropped toddlers, and I just watched everyone talking about it, and it was, <laughs> that was uh, a good it day. was incredible. It was, it was a really, really good day. Positive day. Yeah, um, that was fun, and and I really liked making the feature too because we yeah. did stuff with it we hadn't done before, <coughs> which I thought was cool. Um, for, oh, so from Ocean Sims, um, and I think this one's more for like you probably. Oh, um, <laughs> what, how much Simlish <clears throat> do you understand? <laughs> I understand it all. <laughs> I made it up, so it's all mine. <laughs> so nobody else understands it but me. Um, no, um, uh, I'm actually horrible at Simlish. Uh, I don't have that dexterity of tongue that I, 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 I barely speak English well. Um, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, so, uh, uh, I'm the one who, who, 
help define it, if you will, um, and I'm the one who keeps defining it with through other people. And so, uh, some wishes is a large part my fault, um, but understand that that's uh, I, I can tell you when I like a word and it becomes something. That's that's all. Off the top fun. of your head, do you know how many words there are in the Simlish dictionary? Uh, locked words that actually translate to some sort of concept. There are uh, roughly a hundred right now. Um, we've, we've recently bumped up, um, but yeah. This one's for Lindsay and Dave, and it comes from Rin Official. What's been something you've wanted to bring into the game and watched it come to fruition? I feel like toddlers, it's probably for Sims 4 would be. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Like generally speaking, I. I I definitely like uh, like realistic gameplay, so I think one thing that we do is kind of like build a house and go through it room by room, and it's like, where are there holes that you can't mm -hmm. build a room? So, you know, it was basements, or you couldn't build the pool, and then it was like closets were a little hard to build, so I don't know. Mm. I, I can't point to anything specifically that I'm like super excited to, to pull in and that, that I can talk about, but I mean, generally, more realism, like walk of life, anything that we're yeah. missing, being able to plug that in, I always, I always like that. I was super, super excited when we solved hats on hair. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It was a really big difference um, that I could do that, so that was a, that was a fun one. That's, That's cool. cool. And that hadn't been in all the generations yeah. before, so yeah. I was like, ah. It was good. I wasn't here when it was brought in because I've only been here for two years, but when you guys brought genetics to The Sims mm -hmm. 2, mm -hmm. that, that, was cool. was that was super cool. I remember that, like, I just, it was the coolest. All, all my Sims had offspring yeah. for, like, the first, like, three months that I played because I just wanted to see how their genetics mixed. Yeah, well, it was cool to just kind of randomize it and see yep. what would happen, yeah. Yep. Um, kind of also for the producers, what is some of, um, this one comes from The Sims community. Um, what are some of your favorite bugs you've ever encountered <laughs> in the production uh, 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 <laughs> while, while developing? I'll, I'll start that one, actually, since the producers can think. <laughs> we had a bush that was crying, uh, the toddler voice, crying. <laughs> I remember videos of that. And it drove us batty how to find that one. That, that, that's, yeah, it was just, the bush was crying all the time. And, and it turned out uh, there was a random uh, encryption coding of the sample to the, so the, and the asset. Got, like, so whenever that asset was in the world, it also played the same. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bizarre. Um, and it was one of the weirdest bugs we've ever found either, too, too, because it's supposed to be like so random, the encryption, that it yeah. can never repeat. But I have two. Can I share two? Yes, you can share two. Awesome. You've been here so long, um, I feel I know. Like they're kind of old, but they're the first that came to mind. Um, so when we were making uh, Sims 1 pets, uh, there was a bug for quite a while that your date, when you used hot date, would occasionally show up as an animal. <laughs> but they thought they were a human, so they'd like float in the air around and do your date and like go in the hot tub. It was hilarious. Because um, it actually worked really well, despite the fact they were like an animal. Um, so that was super amusing, and I did that for like many days, trying to, until we got it fixed. Um, the second one was in Sims 2, uh, we had a bug at one point with... Um, the way that the neighborhood townies thought of their family like it was all kind of behind the scenes data but uh what would happen is if your sim cheated on someone and the uh the neighbors would react right like people would react if they knew who you were but everybody in town thought they were one single family so if any single townie saw you cheating the entire town came after you <laughs> so when i was testing that one day my sim like cheated on her boyfriend or whatever and literally everyone in town just started like ganging up on her and coming after her and then for like a week in sim time people would just show up and kick over my trash and steal my gnomes like for repeatedly and i was like i'm sorry that was that was a little crazy i was like nope we gotta tune that back <laughs> can't be that aggressive <laughs> you got a good one dave uh, the one something so appropriate. That's the problem. Yeah. Is all the ones that I remember are not good things. So I, I know, and I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw Grant under the bus. Mm. Grant has a folder yes. that he has saved where we usually send our our craziest like bug type pictures, and it's usually like naked issues or age inappropriateness or weird body humor. Uh, it's always really fun. We always get a good laugh out of it. We save it for later. Probably like the safest one I can think of was uh, recently on Jungle Adventure. Uh, I, I have this habit of uh, uh, 
playing the game and I, I won't have sound on. I'm sorry, Rob. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I put up All those problems. Sunday. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm playing, I'm playing, and I put it on, and I just, it just, it's like a locust swarm of helicopters, and I pull the camera back, and we had a helicopter that would like fly through, oh, but we yeah. had it. We had it tuned wrong, so there was like a hundred helicopters in the air, and it was like, you know, storming, storming in. Uh, that's awesome. That was fun. We had a good, we had a good one on base game. I don't know if you remember this one with um, for Sims Four that uh, the gym was tuned to be really attractive for people to work out, but if mm. elders work out after they're already tired. They die, oh, like they, they can dying. die from exhaustion. Everybody and it became this horrible death trap <laughs> <laughs> because all these elders would show up and be like, "I gotta exercise," and they would all just die <laughs> over and over. It was like and a we were factory. Like, oh. It was it was really sad. <laughs> just had all these people show up and just keel over. Oh that reminds God. me of when seasons good. first came out and everybody was dying of freezing cold outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> pretty. You gotta macabre. watch out for that stuff. Came pretty macabre. I think um, right. Oh, oh no, go ahead, I boy. think my favorite one was at your desk, and I think you had it on your screen. Um, but it was once again the walk-in safe. Uh, there was like a couple that had woohooed and it wasn't doing privacy, like like oh, nobody no. like stayed away. <laughs> so somebody else came yeah. up and walked in and started like playing with it, like oh, kicking the money, money. Oh, no. <laughs> like tossing and rubbing it all over themselves. Oh, that wow, was so, so bad. But the person was like dressed like a bear or something too. <laughs> of course they were. So <laughs> that makes it better. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little pause and we're going to do um, a base game giveaway. Um, so if you are, what a special word did we say? What, I don't know. Base game? What's Should we say word? Game? We can do base game. Special. Yes. It's a special, special word, guys. Yeah, so well, if, if you want oh. a opportunity to receive base game, it'll be either for console or PC, since it's available on both. Um, that didn't sound salesy at all. Good job. Um, then <laughs> spam the chat with base game. Uh, and let's give them an example. I'll and Steve will choose a winner. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna enter. Base game. Yep, no space. Okay. There, there you go. You and go. Steve there will, we go. Steve will choose a rando, or well, Steve's program will choose a rando. And then in the meantime, I've got a question for Morgan specifically. Ooh. You went from being a huge player and fan of the game to now working on the dev team. What has that been like? Um, really, really cool. I've been thinking about it since it's like my my year here. Yeah. And like I was thinking about like last night actually getting to do this stream and how cool it is that I'm doing like a Max's birthday stream. <laughs> um, because like I can remember being like a little, little kid and playing like Sims Farm and seeing Max's on the loading screen. Like as a little kid, like a, I don't know, was I six or seven or something? And then to actually work there someday, I don't know. That's just like a dream you don't kind of ever think will actually happen when you're a kid playing that game. Yeah. Yeah, and playing it's, Sims my whole life, and I don't know, it's really cool. It's pretty similar for me. I went from being a massive fan who started playing right when Making Magic came out for Sims mm-hmm. 1. And I remember in the back of Making Magic was the disc preview for Sims 2. Mm-hmm. Um, and I maybe spent a little too much time playing Sims 2 instead of actually doing my college work. <laughs> um, totally worth it, um, but now to go and get to work on it as the community manager, it's like... Even the worst days, it's like, oh, I get to work on The Sims. And then, you know, getting to know all the secrets is pretty cool. And you guys are crazy. Like, both of you you guys both leave work and you go home and play The Sims. Yeah, Yeah. I was just playing The Sims during my child's nap yesterday. Nice. And just finally figured out you can flip through all of The Sims by using Spacebar. It's really cool, too. Maybe this is a little fangirly, but, like... But like working with people like Robbie and Lindsay and being like they were not dating. I know. Wow. It's like you've been here for years, Morgan. Disclaimer: Morgan hasn't had to work directly with me yet. Uh, so she doesn't know. She's just wanting to play. 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 My sim tried to make breakfast and caught on fire and died. And I was like, what is this ridiculous game? I didn't play it for like a year. I think I came back when like Hot Date came out. And then I was like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Although a lot of sims still died. <laughs> Steve, did you choose a winner yet? Oh, are we choosing? Are you yeah, let's choose. Ready? Come wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Otherwise, we're just going to keep down. spamming base game. <laughs> we're going to choose a winner. A I know, it's that's easy to follow the chat this way. I know. Damn. Um, I have a real problem with death in our game. Why? It always makes me sad because I, well, I end sad. up I end up 
remaking people from my own life. So it's oh. like friends and family and coworkers. Don't do that. And then like when they die, I feel so So how many bad. times okay, have you hold killed Lindsay? I was gonna say many <laughs> times. <laughs> do you feel bad after you kill them or after they die naturally? <laughs> I don't kill them. It's oh, usually yeah, right. because like it's I'm, an not, accident. I'm not paying attention, paying attention. and I don't care. pause and then I come back. Yeah. And there's, you're, you're there's cool. some chaos has I had to stop playing once because I didn't want my dog to die. Oh, <laughs> and you're like, I'm just gonna turn it off. <laughs> yep. You can turn the aging off. I well, I didn't want it to turn off for everyone. I just didn't want my dog yeah. to die. That, that that is, is about fair. the Sims. The dog. <laughs> um, so I've got uh, like a couple more, a couple more questions. One for Robbie um, from Shamrock Simmer. What's your process for making the Simlish songs? Um, you know, selecting artists, genres. Oh yeah. Um, so uh, it's kind of a funny thing. Um, the design team comes up with the concept for an expansion pack or, or whatever. Uh, and then I try to figure out what's the musical relationship to that. And, and sometimes it's super easy when you have you know, visuals that, that were great. Sometimes it's very bizarre, like what is the music for Open for Business? <laughs> um, and so a lot of it is like people, I, I just talk to people and, and, and figure out like, I had just been on a, a trip in Europe and open for business was the topic and I, I, I was like, well everywhere I went in Europe there was new wave, new wave music, 80s new wave music playing in every shop. And I'm like, okay, well let's, let's do that. And, and so sometimes it's that random. Uh, once we get a theme, then I have a great group of people down in LA, um, the EA Worldwide Music Group, that uh, goes out and starts hunting for new artists. We, we try to go with people that nobody's heard of yeah. or, or less heard of, less exposed artists. Um, occasionally we'll do somebody bigger, but uh, usually um, it's more fun to find new artists for us and for, for uh, other people. Um, and then we play with them and, and usually they give us their lyrics and we'll translate it to Simlish and then we give it back to them and tell them to ignore our translation and make it comfortable to sing and perform. <laughs> I mean, the end goal is to make the artist look great. Yeah. And, and Simlish can, can be really intimidating. So uh, we spend a lot of time giving confidence boosts and things like that. And then, you know, then it's just see how the audience reacts. And yep. sometimes we get wildly lucky and, and sometimes we, you know, miss, but it, it's great. Uh, the beautiful thing about The Sims and always has been true is that, that we can do pretty much any style of music and everybody loves it. So, uh, you know, the, the game gets to define the theme and, mm -hmm. and we go. Yeah. But um, it's not magical. It's, uh, you know, we find people everywhere. And, you know. I've always been really impressed of how it seems like our team is able to kind of uh, highlight talent right as it's on the cusp yep. or right about to blow up. And it's always... It's always been really cool to like look back at the history of The Sims and then see some of the really big yeah. names that yeah. like we've been able to work yeah. with before they were so so yeah. big. Well, I there's been a number of songs that I knew first in Simlish before they were like on the radio, which was very confusing. Because yeah. <laughs> in my head, I'd like be singing along in Simlish, and I'm like, what? Wait, what are these Sims words? Sims Two had a yeah. Damian Marley song like Trenchtown Rock, and I I always think of the Simlish version of it. It's just so cool. Yeah, yeah. we we get a, we get a lot from the band's management that that. That they get a lot of fan messages that way. Like, that's I cool. learned your song in The Sims and, cool. and stuff. That's, that's and it, really, it really cool. that that makes us incredibly happy. But really, it's it's just finding stuff and yeah. having fun. And, and and you know, we know our players love music. It's, yeah, we've got to find new stuff to give them. Yeah, yeah. I have that a makes it week easy. old email from Robbie saying that he's going to give me industrial kazoo music. What? No, no, very specifically, <laughs> chinchillin industrial, <laughs> chinchillin <laughs> industrial <laughs> kazoo. What is that? Please tell me what that is. I don't know what that is. But I trust Robbie. I, that's what he wants to give us. Every once in a while, Robbie has something he really wants to push that I'm like, no. <laughs> so, won't let me do gospel. It's so, we, 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 I want a found, we haven't found the right place yet. We will, we will. But it needs, it needs the right, the right home. It won't, it'll be secular gospel, I promise. <laughs> that's not the point. It's got to match a theme, Robbie. Oh my goodness. Sorry, sorry. I grew up in the South in Memphis, and and gospel music is kind of like yeah. where yeah. everything comes out of. So you don't associate it necessarily with church as no, much as it is a thing. That yeah, and it's church. it's just finding but the right pack. Yep. It is. We'll find, and we'll find, we'll a, find the pack. We'll find the pack. We got yes. it. <laughs> it'll, it'll be, yeah. And then Lindsay will fire me and you'll No. <laughs>
Um, Robbie doesn't days. report to me. It's fine. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think we've kept you guys for quite a while, and we also want to get off to get into showing off some of the free content. So Ooh. you guys can... Thank you for coming and joining and taking time out of your busy schedules. Not not mm -hmm. your schedule. You're, you don't do anything except for play on Twitter. But thank Lindsay, Lindsay being here oh, is like thank you awesome. for having so me. Thank you for coming. Um, Bye. I'll bring the cake upstairs when we're done. Morgan, you can slide off camera. Morgan's gonna come back on in a little while um, to show the content. Don't worry about it. Good for Morgan. Oh. Oh. Um, so now uh, to kind of continue the celebration, we actually wanted to dial in um, somebody from our community um, who's been playing The Sims for, well, their entire life, pretty much, um, <laughs> since they were a, a wee little one. Um, so uh, we're going to dial in, I think you guys all know him as The Sim Supply. Um, so he's going to gonna join us on here um, for a little bit. going to dial him up right now. Uh, let me... I'm doing it on my phone because, again, we are a high-tech operation. So high-tech. Um, anyways. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me, let me get the webcam going. Thanks. <laughs> um, and then, uh, there we go. James, can you hear me? James, are you there? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to um, bring you up on camera now, I think. Yeah? Cool. Steve, go. Yeah. James, couldn't you have gotten comfortable earlier? Oh, oh. hey, Kay. Oh. Hey, James. Oh, hey. Fancy. What a that good was joke a, that was. That was a, yeah, we are pros. That was not cheesy at no, all. No, not at all. No. Um, yeah, no, so James is here, guys. Surprise. What? Yeah, you're here. You, you know that, right? You're not, this is not a hologram. It's actually, no, green screened him. Green, yeah, green -screened. we totally green screened him in. Um, actually using the beige wall as a green screen. <laughs> So. We're, we're pros. Actually, you guys might notice our cameras a little bit better today. Uh, that's because it's James's camera. <laughs> I, my yes. condition for coming on was I, I want to bring my own camera because I didn't. No. Yeah. He didn't want to be we've slightly seen blurry. Streams, and, yeah. 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 He's been really getting on my case pretty much since I, I picked you up at the hotel. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, James, uh, so you've been a player and a fan of the game for. Well, I think you said you were like six when you started. Yeah, well, I, I started with the first one. Yeah, because yeah, um, my older sister's got it as a present, so I just grew up with it. Yeah, and uh, you, apparently you have a YouTube channel. You Twitch yeah, I stream. started it recently, nearly ten years old. Nearly so, ten years yeah. old, yeah, just and uh, fairly new. You just uh, celebrated, I think, at the end of last year, a million subscribers yes. on YouTube, and now you're up at like one point two or something. Uh, one point one something. Mm. Congrats. Kind of nice. Well. Congratulations. Well. Thank you. Mm. For um, a new young channel. It's yeah, it's that's, exciting. That's, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, so can, talk a little bit about your journey, like as a YouTuber and as a Sim fan, mm. like as you know, playing the game and watching it go through all of these different versions, basically. And oh man, I'm talking about my journey. That's such an open-ended question. I know. And we I also mean, didn't so, prepare this, so I'm just throwing <laughs> yeah. this at you. No, Do you want some cake, by the way? Oh, I had some cake over there. Oh, I was okay. it off screen because cool. they just kept coming that way. So. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, yeah, so I started with the, the Sims 1, obviously, when I was very young. Um, and I loved, I loved always being creative and making things with my hands and all that. So it was kind of a natural transition to just start doing it on the computer and playing games. But we only had one family computer, and I have three sisters, so always had to take turns. Could only play on the weekends. So it's like one hour, like, like Saturdays and Sundays that I got to play. And uh, I was just drip-fed enough content <laughs> to, to get addicted to it. And anyway, growing up... Uh, going through all the different games and that I really love because I love creating stuff and then I naturally wanted to share it with people yeah. they wanted to know how I did it so I started making tutorials on it and then that sort of when YouTube started becoming a thing it kind of progressed into that and, yeah and now, now look at look at you here now I don't, it's it's a very weird thing to go from you know, just enjoying and playing the game to it actually being what I do because you guys were talking about before about how you're like people think you just play games for a living I mean that's what I do it's literally what you and do it, it's yeah. it's very weird it's very yeah. weird but I, I imagine there's some weirdness when you're trying to explain what you do to people who maybe aren't familiar with the YouTube. I hate explaining to people <laughs> that don't know what YouTube is. It's very, it's, it's very hard to explain. Oh, it's, but the worst actually is when you come through customs and they ask you what you what you do for a living or like why are you here? You're like uh, I'm here to play a game. Yeah. And then it's like twenty playing twenty questions with them trying to get them to understand. Yeah. But it's fun. It's fun. What has been uh, kind of one of your favorite most memorable moments about the sims franchise that you can remember 
I remember, I think it was, must have, oh, yeah, it was Sims 2 Open for Business, uh, when I think it would have been one of, like, the dev walkthrough videos, and I was in the school library in the back room, because I had a tiny little computer lab, six computers, and I had it up on that computer, and I was watching it, and I think, I think it must have been Grant that was in it, maybe. It might, anyway, I was watching it, and then um, I was showing my friend, I was like, oh, you got to check this out, this pack is sick. Uh, and then, like, the, the librarian comes in and is like, what are you doing? You can't be watching this. <laughs> then I got detention for it. But to this day, Open for Business is still one of my favorite packs. Yeah. It's so much. I, I love it so much. But I, I always remember that moment, getting told off for enjoying The Sims. Well, you probably shouldn't do it at school in the library. It was just a video, and it was, like, during recess. And this was back like, probably during... No, wait, you're significantly younger. I was going to say, this is back during, like, the dial-up days. This now. was, like, it must have, 2006, it must have. I think that's when that pack came out. Or six, or five, or six, somewhere. Yeah, sounds about right. So, um, yeah, and that, yeah, it's crazy how far the <laughs> game has come, actually. And do you have a favorite iteration? It doesn't have to be The Sims 4, even though that's what's out now. No, it's like, not The Sims 4. One that you <laughs> played. Still my, plays to this day. My, my, yeah, my Sims, I really love. No, I, Sims 2. Sims 2, because I was old enough to, like, fully understand the game yeah. and fully get into it. And I think. For a lot of people that were playing The Sims back then, it's one of their favorites as well. I don't know, it just has, like, such a nice charm about it. Like, well, and it was the first one that introduced genetics and... Three, it was 3D. And yeah. Had all that kind of Sims stuff. Sims 2 is the one that I have the most, like, nostalgic feelings about because it's what really got me into being a huge Sims fan. Like, Sims mm. 1, I, I absolutely loved, and I, start, I started with Making Magic, but there was something about Sims 2 that just, like, took it to an entirely new oh, level. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us on stream. It, it, it would be really nice of you to fly out here for like seven yeah, minutes. Yeah, I'm just going to grab my camera back now. That's <laughs> okay. Stream's cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for, thanks for joining. Uh, yeah, and, thanks um, for having me. It's been yeah, fun. Yeah, of course. And I, I think we're going to launch into showing you guys some of the new content coming out um, in a patch tomorrow. 10 a.m. is when it should drop. 10 a.m. Pacific time. Um, I don't know if we're in standard or daylight savings, so I just say Pacific time. Um, so I'm going to bring on Graham yep. and Morgan and Cheyenne, who does um, who's our art director, one of our art directors. We have multiple. So I'm going to visit, I mean, I'm going to disappear off screen, bring them on. When did Cheyenne even get here? I didn't even know. Cheyenne, let me slide. <laughs> you just bring her out of nowhere. I, the, okay. the <laughs> I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey Morgan, thanks for joining us again on the Hi. stream. <laughs> so, uh, we wanted to show off a little bit of the new content coming to the game tomorrow, and it's just about Lunar New Year time, so we're going to have some objects and some clothing and accessories that celebrates all of that. So, well, let's let's swap over to the, the game, Steve. There you go. And uh, today, uh, we've got a whole family of eight Sims, and they are all wearing some new content for us. Uh, and before we delve into seeing all the new goodies, uh, Morgan has built this family for us. She did not build the lot. We'll take a look at that one in a second. Um, but this family will be up on the gallery uh, tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow? Yeah, probably yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give us a little bit of our history, Morgan, because I know you were very meticulous in creating them. Well, people well, care about yeah, the history, please. and they're always like, what's their names? Where yeah. are they from? Yeah. So, um, this, so, the... People on the far left, the two older, um, they're, they're like the the dad of this family's mm -hmm. parents. Um, they're from Shang Simla, um, and they're more traditional older people. If you look at their traits, you can get, learn a little bit more about their personalities um, and their sort of aspirations and everything um, and what they want out of life. Um, the, the, the grandpa is a little bit more of a perfectionist and he's a bookworm and he's kind of neat and he's kind of like a, what's the word? Is it fastidious? Sure, that works. Whoa. Fastidious. <laughs> yeah, fancy <laughs> words, Morgan. <laughs> Throwing that, out these words. Is that a new trait coming to The Sims 4? No, <laughs> that just kind of describes his in general feel. That's who this guy is. And his name is Elon? Zhao. They're all Zhao's. They're the Zhao family. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then his wife, her name is Mei Ling. And she is really self-assured and outgoing, and she's family-oriented. I like to think she's a little bit of a busybody, and she really cares about her family, though. Um, <laughs> but that's who she is, and then um, their son... And just to note, oh. while we're going through them, we do have some new oh, clothing yeah. on them. Uh, so, let's see, uh, Yilong there, he's got a new jacket on, and 
We'll see a variant of that on the dad in a moment. And then uh, this is Mei Ling. Mei Ling, yep. And she's got a nice uh, traditional dress on. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Has really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all do, but um, the, yeah. the dad there, not the next oh. lady, but the next one, he's their son. <laughs> and um, he is family oriented. So I thought maybe he was a little bit like his mom. He's a little bit like his dad. So he got the family orientedness from his mom. Mm -hmm. And then he got how yeah. like the neat and fastidiousness from his dad. Um, but he's also a foodie. He really likes food. That's kind of like his own personality thrown in there. Um, so I think he's, well, this one's kind of interesting, and I just want to ask Cheyenne. Cheyenne's actually our art director on all of the content uh, that's coming in tomorrow's patch. But I think it's kind of cool because we have these Chinese characters, but they're not real Chinese characters. Right. They're like Simlish. So how yeah. do you make a fake Simlish Chinese character that's different from our normal Simlish? <laughs> we did want to make it read as an Asian language, but nothing too specific and we mm -hmm. also had people who read different Asian languages take a look and make sure we weren't accidentally saying anything <laughs> we didn't want to yep. but we did want to represent the spirit yeah <laughs> all right and I think we that's skipped really over cool. I hadn't thought about that being like, <laughs> that's a not challenge actual, for that's sure. really cool <laughs> yeah. um so she is not from Shang Simla um but they met she grew up in you guys can choose the town <laughs> one of the towns we've released um I would say maybe Brindleton Bay, but you guys can choose. Um, and her name's Alice, and her family has been in Brindleton Bay for one generation. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but we didn't have, like her family, I don't know, you could make them if you wanted, I suppose. But <laughs> it's not really about her, it's about the Zows. So anyways, so she, she married into the family. She married into the family, and okay. she is the guy on the left, right, um, wife. And she, um, is like a super fashionista geek who's also a genius and she's for family oriented but like if you look at all of her clothes I think she's kind of like hip and cool um, and she's got that awesome new dress yeah and actually we'll zoom in closely here because she has some new accessories as well uh, she's got the jade necklace on and then some really cute fan earrings mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the sparkles on the top of her dress. Yeah, so that one was variant, so it looked a little bit more uh, appropriate for a Chinese New Year. Um, but you can also just go out to a nice dinner or go partying with this, too. Yeah. Then we've got our kids. So this is Michael, yep. and can we look at his traits? He's a goofball. Yeah, he's a goofy <laughs> kid. Actually, have it that he's the second oldest. So, I don't know. They might be the same age in game, but he's like the second oldest one in my mind, even though it might have them as the same age because we're starting them fresh. Yep. Um, but, um, yeah. And so, he's rocking an awesome new jacket. He is. <laughs> um, some of his outfits use, I think more than one outfit uses that jacket. It's really good and to use in lots of ways. Yep. <laughs> And then uh, Tiffany. Tiffany's a little nerd like her mom. She's a genius <laughs> too. Um, but her mom dresses are super cute. Um, but I think she's a little bit more inclined to be tomboyish. But her mom always dresses are super cute. And I think this dress has a number of variants, yep. right, Chan? So we've got some of the patterned ones. We've got some plain ones. And there's a few different patterns as well, I believe, mm -hmm. right? For all yeah. the kids' outfits, we did some more holiday-appropriate colors. <laughs> but then we have some fun patterns for just anytime. I love the, the, the toddlers. I caught them checking out her dress too. <laughs> so who do we have here, Morgan? These are the twins. It's Melody and Melanie. Um, and I think Melody um, has like uh, one of the more like classically uh, toddler outfits that would work for guy mm -hmm. sims too for like a toddler boy. But Yep, that tops the unisex. Yeah, but I wanted them to be twins so I mm -hmm. made it work for a girl. And then, um, and then the hair and can be unisex too. Um, it's a really cute new toddler hair. Yep, brand new hair, very adorable. And these ones actually have really cute patterns. There's some with like koi fish mm -hmm. and yeah, Ducks. it's fun. <laughs> and those two are opposite personality wise. I think one of them's clingy and yep. the other one's really independent. independent. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's the family and that's a look at some of the new clothing yeah. that's coming tomorrow. So let me uh, zoom out here and show off the lot now. I did not build this lot myself. I went on our gallery and found a very talented creator. Uh, I think Steve is going to share a link in the chat. So I didn't share a link, but I did share who it was by. <laughs> okay, well, some information is getting shared in the chat. Uh, and I will make sure to actually tweet it later. So if you want to go find this lot and play around with it, you are more than welcome to do so. I think it's gorgeous. 
Uh, not only did they do a really nice garden in the backyard, which will be just perfect for celebrating Lunar New Year with, um, but the interior is super detailed as well. I think it really gets the theme nailed. So let's take a look at some of the new objects that are coming. Uh, actually, right behind the parents here, uh, we had a brand new pig statue. It is the year of the earth pig in uh, China this year. So that's something fun. And then we've got some new citrus trees because that's a very big part of Lunar New Year. You want to have a lot of citrus in your home. It's good luck. <laughs> and then as we move inside, we've got kind of a new dining room set up. So you're going to get a six seater round dining table, new dining chair to come with that. Again, we've got our pig statue, some other fun mm -hmm. variants with the all gold one. A uh, nice big basket of oranges. We've got red envelopes. Um, and if people don't know about Lunar New Year, um, one of the traditions is that you typically have adults give children uh, money and they're inside these red envelopes. So that's a fun little gift. Uh, we've got another little decorative object there, very cute. And uh, one of the nice things about this update is there's some new recipes coming. So I'm actually gonna get the adults coming in here and we'll cook some new food. And uh, reunion dinners are actually a really big part of Lunar New Year. You get the whole family together and make something delicious that they can all enjoy. So I think we'll go down and let's have a mud carp. Tastes better than it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mud carp's kind of fun. I, I was just looking up some stuff about Lunar New Year online, and um, fish in particular, I believe, kind of represents the idea of abundance in the new year. And so one little trick I learned is you want to leave one serving of fish behind at your Lunar New Year dinner, because uh, that way you're blessed with abundance for the entire year. <laughs> Let's uh, move her out of the way because we're going to need that oven in a second. And uh, while they're cooking, I want to bring the toddlers in. These are new lanterns, by the way. Yes, they are. Uh, zoom in on. Whoop, I got to avoid the fade. <laughs> we got these cool new Chinese lanterns. And actually, out in the hallway there, I put uh, those paper lanterns are from base game, mm -hmm. but we added a new red color variant because red's very important for Lunar Absolutely. New Year. <laughs> So uh, they're prepping food in there, but we've got these cute new panda toys as well. A lot of the toddlers have a good time with those. <laughs> Come on over there, little ones. <laughs> I haven't got a red trash can for this one. That's mine. That didn't come with the house. I picked that one out. <laughs> so that is an adorable little new toy for toddlers and kids. <laughs> And it looks like our mud carp is done. So let's have uh, Alice make us our other new recipe. It's gonna be some vegetable dumplings. And were you involved in picking out the recipe, Cheyenne? A little bit. Yeah, we also had some um, guidance as to what is appropriate for the holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to pick things that were appropriate and looked fun and that we didn't have these things in the game before. So it's nice adding new stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this one's cool because it's a veggie dish, so for any Sims with the uh, vegetarian treat. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the other fun thing I found out, just, you know, again, reading about Lunar New Year online, uh, the dumplings, my understanding at least, is that they're somewhat symbolic for wealth uh, because the shape and color of them look somewhat like gold ingots. That's so. kind of like the other sculpture too, though. It's called like a golden boat or something like that. Yeah, I I didn't want to butcher the name of it. Sorry, I'm going to move the camera back <laughs> yeah. to it. I think it was called like a psyche or... It's got I mean, multiple names. Let's look at the name of it. <laughs> um, Do you remember much about these? It I, It's based off of the old currency that they used to have, so it symbolizes wealth. Okay, it's perfect. Pretty. <laughs> That was quite the story <laughs> built by there. Yeah, so uh, I did not do the text you for had these fun ones. With that. that was uh, Joe. I'm not sure Joe has been on a uh, stream before. Oh, so. Joe. <laughs> All right, let's get our dumplings. Delicious. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's do the dumplings as an appetizer. Get the family over here for a meal. And we'll 
we'll get our mud cart for the next course. <laughs> and we'll sit down to a nice dinner. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're amazing. They're cute, right? <laughs> so how about some of the uh, symbols on the objects, Cheyenne? Is that kind of the, the same story? Yeah. We just had to kind of figure out stuff that looked to the part but mm -hmm. didn't mean anything in particular? And it was a little bit easier to simplify and make it read from a distance. But it's nice because it ties all the furniture together. And mm -hmm. then we also have different colors that don't include it and are a little bit more simple if you don't want this kind of theme. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Grandma and Grandpa didn't have time for appetizers. They're going straight for the main course. <laughs> that makes me hungry. Yeah. Like 11.50. So yeah, that's a, a look at some of the new stuff that's coming tomorrow. we got a nice collection of objects, two new recipes for you, some uh, brand new clothing and accessories, and that'll be really fun to play with, and it's just in time. Lunar New Year is tomorrow, so... Celebrate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look out for that update. <laughs> Kate, you want to hop back in? Yeah, I'll just hop back in and close it off. And um, thank you guys for coming on and showing uh, showing off some brand new content. <laughs> and we're going to close it out with a really funny story in which Graham is going to tell us <laughs> oh, what yes. is the most ridiculous or funniest death you've ever had in your game. <laughs> this is a great story, guys. So I feel like I might get in trouble just for even Lindsay's telling this story. Lindsay's not here. That's true. She wasn't Let's the one angry at me, though. <laughs> we, we didn't have a clip of it, did we, Steve? Steve you can no, come back on us. You don't, we don't need the game anymore. OK. Oh, man. <laughs> so let's see. This was probably back in t early 2015 or so. It was whenever we added pools to The Sims 4. Um, and so I was on a live stream along with uh, Sim Guru Steph, uh, and we were showing off pools for The Sims 4. And so we thought, okay, we want to show off everything that's coming with the pools. Like they're, you know, you can sit on the edge of them now, and that's brand new to The Sims 4. Oh, and you can still drown in them, of course, because everybody loves drowning their Sims in pools. Um, so we thought, okay, let's show off just here's a new death. Everybody loves new deaths. <laughs> And so we had our family of Sims that we were demoing with that day, and it was uh, a mom and dad and their two children. And we thought, okay, we'll just, we'll drown the dad. That'll be fine. So <laughs> we put the dad into the pool and we walled it off. And, you know, a few minutes later, he died all right. But we didn't have the camera on the pool at the time, so we missed the death. And so we said, okay, well... You know, that's kind of disappointing. People tuned into this live stream. They want to see the new death. Uh, so what can we do? And so, you know, I'm thinking and I'm trying to like improvise on the fly. Because when you're on a live stream and you're trying to figure out what to do next and it goes off script a bit, you scramble a bit mentally. And so I said, okay, well, we've got the mom, but we can't kill her because if she dies, the game's going to end because you can't have children by themselves in a household. So I said... Well, okay, I guess we'll just drown one of the children. <laughs> and so we put the kid into the pool and we fenced it off again. And this time we had the camera right on it when the kid died. And I was like, okay, well, this is it. But the, the pool that we built was too small. So what happens is when a sim plays an animation in the game, they need to guarantee that they have a certain amount of space available to them. And in this situation, the pool was so small that they couldn't play the death animation. So the urn just immediately appeared right next to the pool. So I said, well, okay, I, I guess we'll throw another kid in the pool. <laughs> and we made the pool bigger this time. And I think it was like right around this time when our PR team um, was starting to get upset. Um, and they, they, I think they held up a sign that said, stop drowning children. <laughs> uh, and I was... And I was like mentally weighing, well, do, it would be weird to stop at this point because we, <laughs> <gotta keep going. laughs> we already put the next kid in the pool. And so I was like, okay, well, we're just going to drown this kid. And if it doesn't work, then I guess we're done for the day. Uh, but this one worked great. So the pool was, the pool was large <laughs> enough to drown the kid. Um, we had the camera on the pool. We saw the death, death animation. And it's a really gruesome, like, death animation. It is, it is I crazy. think it's the, like, most detailed death animation that I've seen in The Sims. 
Um, so we did that, and then we ended the stream. It was like, that's all, folks. Uh, got out of there, and I was like, okay, sure, the PR team wasn't happy, but it's fine. Like, simmers know you can drown yeah. sims in pools. It's not a big deal. It I doesn't sound that bad. we've been doing that, that since bad. the beginning, guys. You know, it's just in context. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Um, but I got back to my desk. And I'm not, I don't want to name names or anything because I don't want to get in trouble here. Um, but I had an email in my inbox um, from somebody who was very high up in EA. Uh, and it said, all the email said was, uh, call me at my desk immediately. And it had their phone number. And so I turned around to Grant at the time and I showed him the email and I was like, I think I'm getting fired. Like, <laughs> what, what do I do? He says, just call it. And so <laughs> I called the number and I'm talking to them. And I was like, oh God, you know, th this is it. I'm done. My career DA is over. I, who knows what's next? Um, but I, I was talking to them on the phone and the impression that I got at the time uh, was that they were in a room with other people. Um, so yeah. I was kind of like dialing into this conference call. Uh, and I got asked, so how do you drown a kid in The Sims? <laughs> <laughs> and so they wanted me to walk them through step by step what I was doing to be able to drown a child on a live stream. Uh, Only in The Sims. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I, would you have those kind of conversations <laughs> at work? I don't think they realized that we were making a game where you could drown children. Um, and I feel like I've said drown children a lot today. Guys, don't I, drown your children. I don't want to get in trouble again, so. <laughs> Not, oh, wait, P, I, was the child named Carol Alto? Oh, I don't that remember. That you killed? <laughs> there's a fine Carol Alto. Anyway, ultimately, I did not get fired. I'm Obviously. still here. I... It all worked out in the end, I suppose. And yes. Hey, and you can still use pools and you can still do drown exactly children. that. So still, still drown them. <laughs> I guess it all turned out well in the end. That's Our rating point. didn't go up. So <laughs> Our rating. Yeah. yeah. My children die in real life. Anyways, um, I, I wanted to paste the link to your. To oh, you did. Oh God, so Steve found, found it. Generally, Steve where it, it is. is. <laughs> oh God. Throw another one in. It's That's fun. my favorite quote. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, thank you for re regaling us with that story. I feel like that's like an appropriate Sims anniversary <laughs> note to end on. Yeah. Um, it's talking about drowning children. Um, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in for our special um, 19th anniversary Maxis Monthly. Thank you to the gurus who were willing to come on and be interviewed by me because I'm such a professional interviewer. Uh, thanks to James, the Sim Supply, for flying all the way out here for seven minutes of screen time. Um, it was, it was real, we appreciate you, James. Um, and yeah, uh, the patch with the new content drops tomorrow yeah. at 10 a.m. Be here tomorrow. Um, so make sure you... Well, not that, here, not Twitch. No, not no, not no. here Be on in Twitch. the Sims 4 tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> play in the Sims 4 tomorrow. Make sure you uh, back up your saves, remove your mods and CC, mm -hmm. just in case you never know. No, um, and uh, I believe we have a Guru Garage this Friday. Um, our, I hope yeah, so. Yeah, we do. We Maybe? have a, We have one oh, this Friday. Right. So um, if you feel like joining us on... Uh, a guru garage for some shenanigans with last time we had a naked lunch so you never know what's going to happen I, I think I missed that one <laughs> um, and so thanks for tuning in and a happy 19th birthday this is our last year being in our teens it next is. year we're the big 2-0 we're getting old yeah. guys um, so thanks for tuning in Steve you ready? sure bye bye hey, dag dag